What's going on guys? We are out here at the range tonight. Beautiful evening out here in the Smoky Mountains. Close enough to it. Got my boys with me and also the new Bryn 2. Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo coming through with another awesome review for us guys. And I went ahead and just couldn't leave it alone and went ahead and checked it out for the evening. And we're gonna start running into the torture test here. So first shots <laughs> with the Bryn. Brand two, baby. Freshly chopped. set up exactly like an AR. Uh-huh. <laughs> Need a little zero. I can't hit the pistol paddles this far. I haven't zeroed it yet. Bro, like the first few shots, I don't, we could go back to the video and look. I tried to like barrel down to go hard at it and I went. <laughs> You're still one in there. Cause it's so. Oh, maybe you just dropped it. Yeah, I think I dropped okay. it. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. So she's warm. Definitely gets hot when you shoot it suppressed. Don't put duct tape on your suppressor. 
<laughs> Word of advice, we did a little science earlier. Uh, even the non-sticky side of duct tape will melt instantly to a hot suppressor. So yeah, don't do that. Luckily, Mike... Uh, doesn't care about his shit. Employs me to some extent, so he can just take it out of my paycheck if he needs to. But <laughs> Bryn 2, guys, just as awesome as it was before. Now even better with all these little uh, chops and upgrades. Sweet paint job. Proven rifle over in Ukraine right now. And our Lord and Savior, uh, Granddaddy Thumb, looks like he enjoyed it as well. So Bryn 2 is a big yes from us. I think Mike big yes as well um if you guys get the opportunity definitely shoot one buy one too because these things are pretty hard to find in our experience we have not seen hardly any of the 16 inch ones a couple of the pistol versions over at smoky mountain guns and ammo but nothing uh full rifle size usually so get it chop it suppress it and fucking run it baby pop lock and chop it <laughs> Pop, lock, and chop it, baby. <laughs> yep, that's nice. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? We are back at the range, and today we are talking about the CZ Firearms Bren 2. But before we jump into this, guys, let's take a quick second and thank the sponsors who have made this video possible. Number one being our homies, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo, y'all. They are providing a lot of the guns and the ammo that we get to review and ultimately providing us with the opportunity to give unbiased reviews to you guys. They are all about the community, and we are all about that. So check them out here in Knoxville or Sevierville at their stores online at smga.com. Be sure to sign up for that newsletter or at Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo on all social media platforms. Then we got our boy Jay from Liberty Bell Firearms, guys, providing some incredible Cerakote and laser work, and he offers an incredible discount for you guys. Check him out at shop.libertybellfirearms.com. Be sure to use code OP to save you that 20%, and find him at Liberty Bell Firearms on all social media platforms. Let's get into this rifle, guys. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? We're actually at the range today, and today we have the CZ Bren 2. This is the full-length rifle here, so you've got about a 16 and a half inch barrel, and this thing comes pretty well decked out right out of the box, guys. You have a nice, m-lock style rail here the full picatinny top rail here on top your charging handle is reversible so it can be a complete ambidextrous gun you also have the ambi safety ambi mag release on both sides down here you also got one of those and then you also have the bolt catch which you can activate and run from inside the tr trigger guard with either hand so completely ambidextrous the only thing that really made me wonder was the polymer receiver um, now digging a little bit further into this i have realized that both the Bryn and the scar come with polymer receivers i don't know why that was just kind of really surprising to me you spend two thousand dollars on a gun you'd think it would be all metal but if it ain't broke don't fix it these things have been running uh, for a very long time like this and they've been running really well for us as well so i hope you guys don't mind the audience in the background today but they are just as excited about the Bryn as we are. Guys, this thing is extremely soft shooting. From the first mag that we put through it, it was suppressed right away. All of us kind of looked at each other and was like, wow. Um, the reason we are doing the studio session out here is because Mike is in such a hurry, he's actually went ahead and bought this Bryn, and he's about to do some awesome work to it. Uh, we got a few upgrades that we want to get on this before we actually finish the review. So. Mike is kind enough to uh, let us keep shooting it after he gets those upgrades done. He's actually sitting right here just waiting to take it to the chop shop right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> got a couple of cool things coming with this Bryn, guys. Uh, so the review will take a little bit longer than planned, but I think it's going to be worth it with the overall uh, ending and the upgrades that we're going to end up putting up on this thing. So CZ Bryn, about 250, 300 rounds thus far through it. No issues whatsoever. Not a single malfunction. We've shot it at both night and during the day, and it seems to be a pretty good setup either way. Um, I can already tell you that I'm such a fan that I went ahead and bought the 14 and a half inch one over at Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. So that baby is in layaway jail right now, but hopefully here in the next few months, I'll have that out and me and Mike can be the Bryn boys like we talked about. <laughs> we got a, uh, a new song dropping soon just for that video, but... Uh, yeah, this is a, a very sweet gun, guys. If you get the opportunity, please get your hands on it and shoot it. I think you're going to be shocked. It is quite a bit cheaper than what the scars are today. So as far as uh, obtainability goes, these are pretty hard to get. So if you see one, I would at least, you know, maybe 
think about it. But let's take a quick break while we kind of go into this halftime show here and see what the Bren can do once it gets a few of these upgrades. So here's the Bren now. And voila, look at those upgrades, guys. As you can see here, Mike has taken the luxury of changing almost everything that the Bryn had starting off with. So first he sent it to our buddy to have it chopped down. So we are now going from a 16.3 inch barrel roughly to a 13.7 inch. That 13.7 now has a pin and weld uh, chemo type of muzzle brake on it to give you the 16 inches. So this is not an SBR, this is a rifle. So you could put whatever stock you want on this bad boy. Uh, we had this mixed in with his Silencer Co. Uh, Omega here. This is the 30 cal Omega. Did really well today at the range running this thing suppressed. Moving down, he has added the Surefire 600B light with the dual control end cap here. We have the new 3E IR infrared. Uh, I believe it's the designated IR laser here. Um, so this thing is super dope and a new product that we're really excited to start testing out. Unfortunately, we haven't had any darkness yet to play with this thing. And then on the other side, he's got one of my favorites, the Unity Tactical Axon button here. This is a great button to run both your light and laser here. If you guys haven't got one, I highly recommend getting one of them. Moving further down the line here, we have the HB Industries Extended Charging Handle. This thing is really nice, really easy to grab onto, and seems pretty well made for the most part. I don't think you're going to have any issues breaking this thing. Um, one of the biggest upgrades on this is going to be the new Haga Defense lower. So Mike took the polymer lower uh, group here, the modular group here, took that out and put the new all metal lower on. Um, this thing is a bit of a pricey upgrade guys, but it does give you some unique options that you didn't get with the original lower here. So number one, this lower is not an FFL item, so you can have it shipped directly to your door. The serial number is on the upper here, so now you can play with your lower at will, have it sent to your house if you wanna do that upgrade, which is pretty dang cool. But what's awesome about this lower, guys, is it takes pretty much full AR-15 controls. So you have your mag release, your trigger, your safety selector, your trigger pins, as well as your pistol grip here that you can take from any of your favorite setups on your AR and slap on this lower. Shooting this today, it was even nicer having that AR style control group all right there a little bit closer to what I'm used to than what the original one provides. So something I definitely noticed jumping from lower to lower and something I would highly recommend it looking at if you're looking for that next little plus uh, with this already sweet rifle. Um, moving toward the back here, he has the BNT MBT stock. This is a folding stock. And one thing we need to point out guys, this was not listed where he bought this. It does not lock folded. So your ejection uh, or your deflector here is in the way and there's no way to kind of pull this up and lock it in like you would with the original stock on the original setup. So something I think that aggravated Mike quite a bit because you pay several hundred dollars for a stock like this on a Bryn 2 and that is not something that's mentioned. So if locking this thing folded is important to you, that is something that we would highly suggest looking at. And after doing a little bit of research today, we found that probably most of the stocks on there besides right the original there, one does not work. Now, what Mike is about to do, he's about to get the G36 style from HB Industries, and it actually comes with its own deflector. So they send a different deflector to swap out, and that then allows you to lock that stock folded. So we wanted to make sure that we noted that because I don't know that if anybody has pointed that out yet, but it is something that is very important when you start looking at your upgrades for this friend. Uh, other than that, guys, he's got a Hollow Sun 515 here. Hollow Sun makes great optics. Uh, this thing has the little kill switch honeycombs on the front, so it makes it even cooler. Uh, he did originally have a magnifier on this, but with the range that we will be using, having the donut reticle in there that you can reference to, to a 300 yard shot if you needed, uh, the magnifier has come off, and this is the current setup and probably the setup that will stay for a while besides changing that stock out. So I think Mike has done a really good job of setting this thing up, pretty much getting it battle ready. Um, like we said, this is a well-proven rifle now in the war front of Ukraine. Uh, you guys are seeing this posted 
all over the place when it comes to this trench style videos that we're seeing and you could recognize it very easy by the waffle magwell so if you guys haven't been paying attention now that we've mentioned it you're probably going to see it in all the videos that you guys are looking at but the scar the brin these battle rifles are really getting some true tests right now in that war and it's pretty cool to see them being used and being as durable as they claim to be but that's about it guys i'm pretty excited that mike has this one uh i have the 14 and a half inch over it smoky mountain guns and ammo on layaway right now and i plan on taking mine and cutting mine down to a 13.7 as well but it is an expensive rifle guys you're looking at roughly i think these things run for about two thousand um, dollars maybe a little bit more sometimes depending on which one you get and there is a couple of calibers so you can get this in 556 or 762 the 556 does come in a i think four different lengths you have an eight and a half a 11 something same, a 14 and a half and a 16 something so 556 comes with i believe one or two more links than the 762 option does but there is multiple calibers and multiple links that you can buy this gun in but Big plus from us, A plus all the way around. Uh, have loved every minute of shooting this rifle. Can't wait to get mine out of layaway and deck mine out as well. Um, and one thing we can't forget guys is this beautiful rattle can paint job that Mike has done. Uh, he is well known in our group for rattle can and pretty much anything. And it's no shocker that he takes probably the most expensive rifle in his arsenal now and just goes ahead and spray paints it. So it does look very good. I will give him that. It has me questioning uh, rattle canning some of my more expensive guns now <laughs> so uh i think uh you may see my brand too with a little bit of some more paint shortly after i get it as well so i'm sorry jay <laughs> but if you guys need cerakote be sure to go to jay at liberty bell firearms for 20 percent off use code opie he will hook you up he will give you paint that will last a lot longer and not come off with simple uh tossing around and um you know just oily hands and stuff like that but that is something mike wants to see on this gun so he wants it to be pretty much war looking war ready and war torn baby but that's it from us y'all i appreciate every single one of you hit that subscribe button share it with your friends and as always stay alert stay alive and get you a brin too because it may save your life in the ukraine ain't hey, break don't Hey, break. Hey, bro, don't break this. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> I'm just thinking those stop for a second. Is it because I'm talking? Dude, this thing is smooth. <laughs> Think of popping each other's assholes. But how about that Selmo gear holding up right out the box? Steve's puking in I his know, mouth. This is Steve off. <laughs> what do you think of that? We, come, we bring him out here for the first time in forever. We throw a Gideon Chinese optic on the first thing he shoots. And now I got the Sobo gear on this one. He's just like, I think he's ready to leave. <laughs> Guys, I'm writing my first article on this gun, actually. So we're about to finish up with that. We'll see if the editor decides against that. But uh, yeah, be looking on a article, be looking for an article on the Bryn 2 on Gunmade HQ.